Hey, it's Mr. Johns. We're back with Kentucky Route Zero. We are in Act 2, Scene 2. We have found the documents that'll help us maybe find the address we're looking for, but we had to come back to um, the Bureau. I don't remember why. We really need to go to a doctor, so maybe that's what we're doing here. Uh, Conway had passed out previously. I think he's in pain from his leg, having some problems, so we need to get that taken care of. So here, <clears throat> here we are. We're gonna head back over to the <clears throat> the I think to the uh, receptionist here, and there she is, Marianne. I'm not really sure exactly what we're gonna do here. Um, so we really need to see a doctor first. Um, <laughs> But we're here, so I'm going to say, can we talk to her again? Maybe we can get the address. Uh, I'm afraid she left in a big hurry, actually. Something happened with your meeting. She seemed pretty interested in my cousin Weaver, or we need to get to the Interstate 65. She, I'm going to say that. She seemed pretty interested in my cousin Weaver. I don't know who that is, but she did seem distressed. Well, heading back to the Interstate? I guess that's what we're doing anyway. I can process you whenever you're ready to go back. Just let me know. We've got a few more things to see down here, I'd say, or we're ready to be processed. <sighs> what do we need to see? What else is there to see here? Let's try that. See what happens. No. I guess let's try that again and get out of here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get processed, whatever that means. But she hands the receptionist Lulu's card. Can you tell us how to get to the, this address? We're looking for Dr. Truman. Of course, this is in a neighborhood just outside of Bowling Green. Get on 65 going southwest. Okay, 65 going southwest. Take a right, just past the, right past the observatory. Just before the river. If you continue north, you'll be there shortly. And then go north. North. Okay. So I have the directions written down, although it's probably in my handy dandy book, which I never seem to look at. I do have a uh, book. Oh, that just gave me a that just gave me a map. But I guess that's where I'm at. Uh, go southwest on 65 until you see the observatory. Okay, so we stay on 65 looking for something that looks like an observatory. Pretty simple. So far, traveling around isn't that big of a deal, but look at all this, all these dot dashed lines. So it looks like the Route 60, Route 0 goes everywhere. Uh, dead end? What's the deal with that? Past the river. Remember it said past the river? Near, near the river. Oh wait, is that observatory? That looks like something that could be an observatory. It does not say anything. Why not? If I had to guess, that's an observatory, but it's not letting me do anything. Click, 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 click. Do I have to go up this way? No, really, I don't think so. That's weird. Southwest on Interstate 65. Go right pa oh, go right past the observatory. Okay, good thing I took notes. Go right past the observatory, and then up past the river, I think it said. Oh, there we go, Dr. Truman's house. That's why you take notes. The neighborhood at the address on Lulu's card has been demolished. In its place is a large museum, still partially under construction. Well, I'm not going to get any help from a doctor there. But, Act 2, Scene 4. So let's move on. Scene 3 was nothing. So Scene 4 is at the Museum of Dwellings. Museum of Dwellings. All right, Blue is with us. Hi, Blue. Uh, Shannon's with us, and I can look over here. 
uh, Fred says, whoever Fred is, I just assumed they were from the power company. You know how they're always coming by unannounced and messing with this thing or that. I just shut myself up in that my room to wait it out. No sense getting involved. How did they get in? They definitely weren't from the power company. I think they're talking about us. Fred says, must have been one of those kids who left the front door unlocked. Something's got to be done. They run around like animals. You know that floor I left a can of soda on top of my shelter door, and I almost killed myself slipping on that sticky mess the next morning. Something's got to be done. So I guess, I don't know who Fred is or where he is, but he's l maybe looking at us. Uh, there's an umbrella. What's that about? Why is it raining inside? And why do I have my umbrella? Uh, I don't really know. Let me talk to Blue real quick. Oh yeah, he was talking to his dog. Guy was a weirdo. <laughs> what did he say? Just small talk, you know, like a talk to your buddies or something. Like you talk to a dock worker. Just like, this is a lot of rain. I haven't seen rain like this since that storm a couple years back that took out Lisette's herb garden. Now, Lisette is the, is the owner of the, is the owner of the antique store that Conway works for. It's interesting. I feel bad for that old dog getting dragged all over by a couple of drunks. Old dog like that should be sleeping on a porch somewhere, but that's loyalty for you. Why are they calling us drunks? Well, they didn't stay long anyway. this is all about. Flora, I heard the man and the lady talking when they first came in, but they didn't see me. He had his umbrella open inside. What were they talking about? The man said his leg was hurting him. They were looking for Dr. Truman, but he was already gone. But they didn't know, so they kept looking around. So this is weird. The perspective is weird. Other people are talking about us, me. I'm not really sure where to go. Um, I don't think I can go anywhere, but let's look around. So, other oh, door. Oh, okay, I thought that was a wall. No, that's lead. That's our. That's our truck. Let's not go out there. I want to look around a little bit. So, but it does sound like Dr. Shruman is still here, working here. Um. Why? I don't know. Maybe they... Oh, okay. I, I can walk around a little bit. Oh, there's a kid there. What is that about? It's like a house inside. Oh, there's one of those... Wait a minute. Is that the barn? What is this? It's weird. What is this about? So it's like a portal? Um, because that's the barn. Let's look at this and see what this is about. Fred, we ought to get some real chickens in that coop. Do some homesteading. None of these folks know how to live off the land. You know what I mean? It's just a display. Another kind of dwelling. Sure, we'll look into it. So I can choose what the staff says. I'll say that. Yeah. No offense against you guys. I mean, I appreciate what all you've done for us. It's weird. It just gets weirder. So the this is a dwelling museum. <laughs> so let's see, is that a dog house or there's a dog house. That dog was in nearly as bad shape as the old man, just sort of shrugging along. They found some treats in the doghouse exhibit. That seemed to cheer them up a bit. Did we get treats out of there? I didn't get treats out of there. He said we did. I didn't. There's the barn. It's very similar to the barn that uh, we drove through to get to Route Zero. But if this is a museum, that means all this is fake. Right? So that little kid that I saw in that house probably wasn't real, but it looks like I can walk up to and read these plaques. 
There's a bird cage. I can read that plaque right there. And the kid walks out. I was playing in that empty cabin and they came by. They asked about Dr. Truman. I know where he went, but I didn't tell them. Where did Dr. Truman go? It's a secret. Ezra told me, and I can't tell anyone else. Who is Ezra? He's my age. He doesn't really live here. He's just passing through with his brother, Julian. First, they're going to help us, but I can't say any more about that. We have a lot of secrets. The lady asked me about my parents, and I told them they were upstairs in the greenhouse. Do you want to hear a weird story? Of course I do. The old man asked me about the cabin. He said it looked like another house he knew, and he wanted to know where it came from. I told him nobody lived there, so he went inside. He took a long time exploring. When he came back out, he told me all about it. What did he find in the cabin? We, he went upstairs and also looked around the other rooms. I played with the dog. What did he do upstairs? He looked in some boxes. He looked out the window. He could see the museum better than when he was downstairs. He could tell how it was all put together. And the cabin, too. He could see the shape of it better from up there. Now, the part that is weird. He said he went into the basement. That cabin doesn't have a basement. He said he, said he found a staircase in a closet. He said he found a secret door in the floor. I don't know if, if it matters which one here. Secret door on the floor. Staircase in a closet sounds pretty cool. Let's go with that. Then he found a rope leading down to a long pit. Then he climbed down. He, he was surrounded by giant aphids. No. I found a rope leading down. It was so long his arms got very tired and he fell in the dark. Or the walls were covered in a glowing moss. No. That one. He didn't get hurt though. He hurt his other leg and he couldn't walk at all. No. He didn't get hurt though. I can choose this stuff. So like I can choose even if I don't get hurt. He crawled through a tunnel where he found a hidden garden, or he was surrounded by giant aphids. No. Uh, no, the garden was very beautiful, or the garden was very dangerous. Beautiful. He felt so calm, he fell asleep. He found a tunnel leading back upstairs. That one. Then he came back out of the cabin, and we said goodbye. And I didn't talk to him anymore. So weird. I just don't get it. It's just so weird. Right? I'm not the only one that thinks this is weird. Huh. Sadie, the moment I now recall most clearly from their short visit was the birdcage exhibit. So these are like, I don't know who these, peop these people are. They live in the museum, I guess, and they're watching us. <coughs> Which is kind of what, like, it's like the museum people are watching the visitors. But they're trying to hide something. The old man stopped to rest, or maybe to think. The young woman had been anxious up to that point, but she stopped as well and examined the birdcage more closely. It seemed to elicit a tenderness from her. She ran one fingernail along the bars of the wire cage, marking out a tuneless scale like a child's xylophone, and then they moved on. Okay. So what else do I need to see? There's another one over here. Oh, did I do the barn thing? Well, it's, this one's closer. Let's go do that one. somebody standing there who was probably also fake. Sure, I talked to them for a bit. Actually, we talked for quite a while. I wasn't busy. I was happy for the company. Can't sleep in a storm like that. Never could. Did you see how they got in? What did you talk about? Why can't you sleep in a storm? What did you talk about? I had a bottle in my coat and I could see the old guy looking at it and his leg was hurt pretty bad, so I offered him some. He got real awkward about it. I bet he's in a program. Anyway, they were asking about Dr. Truman. I remember him. He was here for a bit, and then he left. So that's what I told him. Ah, so they learned that Dr. Truman was here. So that's good. So there's another one over here. Don't think I clicked this one where the horses are or whatever. I think you need to cut to get some real horses in the stable. Did the strangers go in the stable? No, they just poked around a bit, talked about barns. They were pretty boring. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. So we were boring, and we're the visitors to the museum. Well, I think your museum's boring. How do you feel about that? So at this point, um, I really don't know what to think. We're just looking for a doctor. Okay, and I don't know how far I can walk. I think it's just kind of in a circle, so it looks like. Um, oh, I can go up? That's cool. Can I drive that? That'd be fun. Let's go ahead and go up first. This is like an elevator lift. I wonder if Blue's gonna come with us. Come on, Blue. Get on board. Yeah, he is. Nice. Let's go up. This is like a huge lift. This is why we need the umbrella, I assume. It does seem like a game about nothing. Ivy says they wouldn't come in, just rushing around. You could tell they were worn and it was late at night, but just rushing around. See that big bird that just flew by? That was interesting. Well, there was some urgency to the older man's injury, so it's understandable. What were they looking for? They were looking for Dr. Truman, but of course, I had nothing to say. The man was hurt, you know. Where is Dr. Truman? He left, of course. We've talked about it before he left, and we don't know how or when or what happened to his charming house. Well, we just don't know. I suppose we never will. That's weird. It's all weird. I keep just keep saying that, but it's just very... It's the weirdest game I've ever played. So there's like an eagle flying... We're way up at the top of the museum, and there's houses on top of the museum for some reason. Ah, so this is Pearl's house. I heard a shout from downstairs. The old man had stumbled in the rain. I stayed inside with the lights off. There's no sense in my getting involved. Okay, eventually someone's going to help us, or we're going to find... See that bird was carrying a cage. It's almost like we're really small, but... I don't think we are. And who are all these people? Why are they in a museum? Bert lives in this house, says, I didn't see or hear a thing all night. I was in the back doing inventory when they came by. I got 30 cases of candles in, and each one of those has got to be individually labeled, you know. But I heard from some of the other neighbors that they weren't up to any harm, just passing through. Just passing through. Looking for a doctor. That's all we're doing. Oh, there's Ezra. I saw you folks drive up. I like your truck. What kind of truck is that? It doesn't belong to me. I just drive it. We've got a couple of them at the shop, but this is the only one that runs. Do you know where Dr. Truman is? Yes, ma'am. He's out in the forest. Me and Julian took him out there a few nights ago, and he didn't want to come back. He lives there all the time now. This museum is an okay place to live in the daytime, but it's no good at night. Folks just can't sleep in a place like this, or when they do, it gives them nightmares. So we take them out to the forest to sleep, and then bring them back in the morning. Is your family out in the forest? Oh no, they're... I don't know where they are. Me and Julian were looking for them for a while, but... Anyway, we have a job to do here. Taking these people out to the forest at night so they can sleep. And maybe if the rest of them will be like Dr. Truman, and want to stay out there, we'll get back to looking. All right, so yeah, we need to find the forest. Can you tell us how to get to the forest? You have to follow the Green River way out east and then hop over Lake Cumberland. Okay, so Green River East, hop over Lake Cumberland. How do you hop over a lake? That's what I want to know. The roads don't go there. 
but me and Julian can take you. We were just about to go anyway. Oh, perfect. I've just got to call him over. I bet Julian is that is that eagle. That's how you hop over. It's because he yells, ka 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 hey! Yeah, so it's going to be the, the big bird. I was right. So we are now headed to where the doctor is in the forest. Over the Green River, and then you have to hop over Lake Cumberland. Barren River. Am I supposed to be doing something, or am I just watching? I don't know. Can I turn them around? Oh, no. I don't know. Oh. Am I controlling this bird? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, Green River East. So Green River, and then East. East is this way. I think I am flying, but I'm not really in control. Okay, there's the Green River, and when you get there, go east, which is, I assume, yeah, there's a compass in the lower left corner, so go east. Oh, and that, maybe that big thing is the lake, that, ah, uh, that must be the lake, and then what? Look for the forest. Small figure, bait shop, small figure, small figure. Let's see what the small figure is. A tiny gray figure walks along the side of the road carrying what appears to be a guitar case. He is followed closely by a smaller shape. A dog? I don't know. He suddenly winks out of view, perhaps into the woods. That could be the doctor, though. So how do I land this thing? What do I do? Shop, no. I'm not really sure if that was even like the lake. I need to keep going further. Keep going east. Elkhorn Mine. There's the mine. Wow. I'm getting like a good overview of the area. Green River. Right, so I'm following the Green River. Uh, okay. There's the lake. Yes. A shadowy figure drags itself out of the lake, stuffs its limbs into a small, smart blue suit, and trudges slackly out of view. What do I do? Cross, go, hop over the lake, which I just did. Now what? Now what? It's the weirdest thing ever. Traveling by bird. I think I'm looking for the forest, but I don't really know where it is. Hop over Lake Cumberland. I'm, there's nothing over here. Let's go back. It's a great way to travel, though, if I could keep this bird. see what this line is here. That is the Green River. Okay. Um, and this is the lake, right? So Green River Lake. No, Lake Cumberland. So I haven't gone far enough. Keep going east. Follow the river. Now, there should be another lake up here. Maybe. Where does everything go? It disappears. The lake, or the Green River, just ended. Okay, I 
guess I gotta go back. Hop over, follow the Green River East, hop over Lake Chamberlain, Cumberland, Cumberland. That's not the Green River Lake, which is what that is coming up. But there must be another lake somewhere. Let's, maybe these are connected and there's two lakes. Green River Lake. Nope. Green River Lake. And what else? I am not going east anymore. I'm going west, which is just the opposite. So. There's the mine. Pretty much just following Green River. Oh, here's another lake. I think. I thought that was a mine earlier, but Nolan River Lake. Back to the Green River. I'm going the wrong direction, totally. There's the church. a house. I just want Lake Cumberland, please. That's all I need. That's it. It's a long river, for sure. It's a huge place, huge map. Okay, so it turns back Chapel, back east again, which is the direction I'm supposed to be traveling, but I think, and then it gets faint and disappears. sure what I was even looking for to be honest with you the forest that's right it was the forest it's easy to get a little lost mentally <laughs> in this game I'm supposed to follow Green River East which I did follow the Green River East I'll do it again This way, so let's just shortcut here. There's the museum again. Um, said follow Green River East. But maybe the, maybe the it branches. There's a lot of branches here. So maybe that's what I did wrong as I followed the wrong. Let's just make sure this is the same lake. Which lake is that? Hello, give me a lake name. Are you? Oh, come on, give me a lake name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green River again, and then it peters out. So have to find. Wait, what's this? What's this? What's this? Lake Cumberland. Okay, it's huge too. It's huge. All right, maybe he'll land by himself. I'm here. No. Not gonna get that lucky. I don't think. This is a huge lake. I thought these were caves originally when I saw the... Okay, hop over Lake Cumberland. Um, still going east, I guess, which is now up. 
There's got to be, like, forest. There's got to be something that I can click on that's going to let me land. But I found the right lake. And it's huge. Oh, wait. Trees. Forest. 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 Yes. Holy cow. Never been so happy to find a forest in my life. And I'm done with Acts 3 and 4.